Good day everyone. Welcome to our lesson 3, the art forms in the Philippines. So, the art the Philippines is an archipelago with more than 7,100 uh, 7 actually 7,107 and islands and uh, these islands are the home of people with different languages. So, we have different dialects, beliefs, laylay o tinuuhan, cultures, laylay o ganang mga naandan nga culture, and of course, distinct histories. Okay, our country is actually diverse in ethno-linguistic groups. It's a testament to each uh, rich culture and tradition. So, nagpamatuod that this diversity we have right now in the Philippines is a manifestation that the Philippines is rich in culture and its traditions. This diversity is observable in the country's artworks. So, makita man ito, no, nga daghan kay tag artworks ato ang country. So, that means nga uh, we have also a diverse culture. More than the geographic influences, art in the Philippines is also influenced by a rich history of its people so in pre-colonial art artistic production in the philippines started even before the colonizers reached the philippine islands so before pa ana uh, naabot ang mga colonizers ang spaniards here in the philippines nag-exist na gihapon ang ato ang uh, artistic production so art was often used by the people in their daily living. So, our ancestors weave uh, fabrics na gahimo good sila katong tela for dresses, made weapons for battles uh, katugong mga, diba? Ito, pag abot nila magjela na na may mga kanang weapons sila lapu-lapu ato. So, kato siya, ginagahimo na sila ato. Uh, and, shunted to bring good harvests. Diba? Nagasayosayaw na sila naga ka ng praise and worship na sila, nagakanta na sila, nagachant na sila for good harvests. Unlike today, indigenous art are not classified strictly into disciplines. So art for them had social utility. So ang um, art sa una is kanang uh, para ra jud merely sa ilang kanang utilization para man na sila magamit sa ilang adlaw-adlaw nga panginabuhi. So Indigenous people integrated art into their communal ceremonies. So, kanang mga uh, festive nila, kanang uh, religion uh, practices nila, dira ra nila ginagamit ilang arts. Planting and harvesting, weddings, funerals, and rites of passage are example of communal ceremonies. So, basically, usually dira nila ginagamit ang ilahang arts. Okay. Uh, look at, take a look at this picture. Are you familiar with this? This is the Manungul jars. It's a, bulyo, a, a burial jar excavated in the Tabon Cave in Palawan. So, nakita ni siya sa Tabon Cave in Palawan. So, it is uh, believed that this Manungul jar was uh, a, a jar that was created even before the colonizers. So, nagpamatood na ka ng Nanay din, nag-exist na di ang art before pa sa mga uh, katong mananakop nga ni Adto sa Philippines. So, rituals played, uh, played a significant role in everyday life of Filipino ancestors. So, tong, even before, nanay mga nag-exist ng mga rituals. So, importante ni sila daw sa everyday life sa ato ang mga ninuno. It, uh, the Kashawing ritual in Lake Lanao, for example, is the act as a prayer for abundance during harvesting uh, season. So, ang kasyawing ritual is gina-perform nila ni para uh, na sila abundance or mag sila for abundance during harvesting season. It involves reenactment of legendary pact between ancestors and unseen spirits. So, a similar type of ritual for planting rice is performed by Tagban Was of Palawan. So, remember ha, kasyawing ritual. Okay. Filipino ancestors harvest and hunt for a living. Their hunting experience also served as an inspiration 
to create drama, poetry, music, and dance by imitating movements of an asa nila ginabasa ilahang movements from an animal. This is considered a ritual to prepare for hunting. So to accompany these rituals, the indigenous people also had their own musical influence. So kay para na ay kanang background accompaniment ang ilang rituals nga ginabuhat, so nag-create na pud sila og man mga musical instruments. That's how artistic our ancestors are. Okay. Here Example ani is the agung ensemble. When I say agung ensemble, it is the musical instruments. Uh, ang musical instruments da when played are usually ang agung ensemble katugong ko ana sa pura na siya sets of gong. Tas nakaano lang siya naka-arrange siya by tune. So, a musical instruments when played are usually complemented with dances that imitate movements of animals. Ang higaw nun o ang blaan have banog-banog na sila'y banog-banog na ritual. And the bagubos, bagubos, and the bagobos have the man-manok dances which imitated the movement of what? The birds. Okay, meanwhile, ang courtship ritual sa ifugaw is represented through a ta-lip. Okay, mostly, ang atong indigenous arts were inspired by what? Animism. As you have remember, what do you mean by animism? Ang animism gani, it's katong magsamba ta sa kalikasan, like for example, magsamba sa kahoy, sa dagat, sa ocean, ginasamba nila ang hangin, it's because they, they believe na kanang uh, sacred na sila ng mga butang. Uh, that's animism. Indigenous peoples created statue and symbols for their beliefs. Like for example, katong mga pagano, Diba katong statue nga gi-carve? I mean, katong kahoy nga gi-carve. Mura siya katong tagans. Dito sila nagasamba. Diba? The Ifugaos carve the bull ul, uh, which they depict as their granary god. Meanwhile, ang gi- sa southern Philippines, we have here Okir. Uh, ang curvilinear decoration, it is an evidence of Indian and Islamic influences. Okay. During the Spanish colonia, uh, colonization, we have also Spanish colonial art. During the 16th century, upon the arrival of the Spaniards, uh, the indigenous art changed. Diba? Na, na change siya. Nga naman. The Spanish colonization brought Catholicism and imposed their Western culture. Gidala nila ang Catholic diri sa Philippines and at the same time, ang Western culture. And uh, it means na uh, totally na ajudjay change in terms of indigenous arts at tua. Okay, this conversion caused the birth of the religious and Christian and folk arts. So from katong kuan, katong animism gidala diri sa mga Spaniards ang Catholic ang, Catholic, ang Catholicism therefore na siya'y changes so nadala nila diri giimpluwensahan nila ang mga uh, impluwensahan nila ang mga Pilipino to be part of the Catholic uh, religion so towns or pueblos na create ang mga towns or ginatawag nato nga pueblos in the structure of plaza complex with the church at the center of each town so that sa so, na-create na siya ang murag community ang ginatawag nila ng pueblos or what we call town so that uh, nag-create sila og mga plaza tas ang center ana nila is ang mga simbahan or mga churches churches and government offices were built and the rise of Hispanic baroque structures were built across the islands ang Spanish baroque structures katong mga uh, western style sa mga architecture with the rise of Catholicism, religious icons like the Santos, na, na dala na nila diri. Santos, retablos, and other became essential for religious rituals. Kaya, ex- best example for that is the Santo Nino of uh, the Cebu. Kanang, ang sa ganina na siya, o, Sinulog Festival. Actually, the history of Sinulog Festival, it's 
uh, the original ano yun na kanang kiregaluhan man guna ang kanang Cebu o katong saint na si Santo Niño. So mauna siya ang sinugdanan sa Sinulog Festival. So na, na, na nag-exist na pag-abot sa Spaniards nag-exist na ng mga santos sa kana mga mga retablos and nahimo siyang essential sa religious rituals. Paintings also focus on visually representing the writings of the Bible. Of course because ginadala man na dulo man gunang dala sa Spaniards diri sa Philippines. We have three G's, God, glory, and gold. Okay. Paintings are also focused on visually representing the writings in the Bible. So therefore conveyed religious messages. Ang mga music, an essential part of worship. So thus focus in liturgical music. When we say liturgical music, it based upon the liturgy of the Catholicism. So, mga kanang, ano, ginatawag na ito, mga kanang worship songs. Apart from worship music, the passion or pabasa, uh, unsa maning passion or pabasa, kanin narration of Christ's passion portray during the Lent season, kanang Semana Santa. So, sa, 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 sa Spaniards na nga gikan nga time. Okay. We're also observed in some places. So, there were also a massive emergence of secular music in Iloilo, Pampanga, Ilocos, and Bicol where the Spanish tradition of awit and corrido became popularized. When you say awit and corrido, kana na siyang murag mga harana-harana. Ano good? Spanish colonization also marks the rise of kundiman and balitao. So, kato akong giingon. This development in music also affected theater arts and soon... The Sarsuela. What do you mean by Sarsuela? Katong um, Philippine Theater, Sinakulo, and the Comedia were born in the Philippines. Okay. Next. During then, ang mga Filipinos na enlightened sila sa continuous abuse by the colonial government and the friars. Kani siya ng enlightenment nag-cause siya og revive. Naon sa namang kuwi? Nag-cause siya og rebellion. Kani, thus revolutionary and subversive, uh, sub- subversive the themes became prominent. So, a popular example of artwork is kani, Noli Mitanghere by and uh, El Pelobusterismo by Dr. Jose Rizal. So, nanay mga nag-exist ng mga writings. So, there are a lot, pero kani siya, mga common, default, uh, common mga forms of artwork na nag-exist because of re- rebellion sa mga Pilipino sa Spaniards. Kaya nakita nila ba nga ang abuse? Ginaabusahan nila. Because we are colonized by the Spaniards for 330 years. So, sapat po siguro na, no? Nga, burag, I wanted to, we wanted to be free from them. So, mura na good nag ka ng kuan sa love, char, sa love nga ka ng murag, sakal na kaayok ka, always na ka ginaabuso. So, you wanted to ka ng break up na po. So, yun, anak siya nga concept lang. Okay, next. During the American and Japanese uh, colonization, nag-exist po ang ilahang arts. So, Americans introduced the public education system. So, sila ang nag-introduce ang public uh, education system. Because sa time sa kanang, ang say tawag ani, Spaniards, na na educational system, pero merely into kanang religious system, nga educational system, ang ilang curriculum is more into ano talaga, kanang Catholic. Then, the schools, however, required students to learn English. This brought forth Philippine literature. So, naabot na na Philippine literature in English. Initially, these pieces are characterized by a poor use of language as the Filipinos only mimic their American teachers. Ginasundog-sundog ra nila na ilang mga American teachers sa una. Wala siya uh, kind of proper understanding doon kung unsa ginayaw sa mga American teachers sila. Actually, mora nga po na ilang mga ginayaw sa mga Pilipino. So, yun ano lang. Soon, in 1925, uh, Paz Marquez Benetes published niya ang short story, ah, pinaka-famous ni, Dead Stars. Marking the birth of modern Philippine literature in English. So, the Americans were also popularized secularism as evidence of by popular art forms of the century, 
such as vaudeville or vaudeville in theater. Nag-create po ang School of Fine Arts alongside the establishment of University of the Philippines was also founded thus giving birth to Filipino artists educated in the Western ways. So, kanon na mga influences. For example, si Fernando Amorsolo, katoyang piece known for his craftsmanship in the use of light, was educated in UP School of Fine of Arts. I of nanon sino mini UP School of Fine Arts and is highly influenced by Western artists. Di daog man tong iyahang kuan sa kanang kondo na pili jud niya ang mga Western uh, culture sa iyahang painting. When the Japanese briefly occupied the Philippines during the 1940s, kadiyot raman ni sila. Nationalism became more pronounced. This is the effect of the war and repression on the Filipino people. So, during contemporary arts in the Philippines, when the late former President Marcos started his administration, uh, the birth of contemporary arts in the Philippines nagsugod na siya. The culture, and art, uh, the culture and the arts were given focus in his vision of the new society or bagong lipunan by Ferdinand Marcos. He created niya ang CCP or Cultural Center of the Philippines and urban planning and architecture were given more focus. However, the declaration of martial law from 1972 to 1981 gave birth to di dictatorship and numerous human rights violations. Kaya lang, na-abuse lang siya. With that emerged social realism. So, underground cultural circles and writers hiding in pen names were popular in censorship was popular during that time. So, kay bawal man siya, kontrolado naman sa kanang government ato nga time. So, uh, nanay mga na-hide na nga mga pen names. Ka Kauban ko di atong revolutionary part nila. O si Rizal, yung Marcelo H. Del Pilar, di ba natin? Ilang mga pen names like Plaridel. Ano, para dili sila may ilan nga sila ang nagsulat anak good. So, yun anak po ito nga time sa time ni Marcos. Uh, literary arts, visual arts, and performing arts were used to express dissent. An example of this poem is the Prometheus Unbound by the Jose Lacaba under the pen name of Ruben Cuevas. The piece is an acrostic which means the first letter of each line form a message. So, yun anak siya. Na siya uh, very creative kay sila sa una para dili lang masakpan. Expressive sila at the same time, uh, careful sila para dili sila masakpan na sila nagsulat anak. Pero na sila ginapa sabot ng mga message. The acrostic revealed a strong sentiment against the administration and become a popular slogan against the regime. As the piece was published, the editor, unaware of its hidden message, and was published in Focus magazine. Okay. When martial law was lifted and the Marcos regime ended, democracy was introduced to the Filipino people. Mone ni time ni Corazon Aquino. Mone revolutionary, I mean, the People's Tower One. This newfound freedom paved the way for more diverse and more expressive Filipino artists. No longer did the Filipinos exclusively made art for or against the government. Now, karon. Ang art is a tool mainly used for self-expression. Sa una, commonly, social utilization, social utility. Magamit nila ang, ginagamit nila ang arts para sa ilang daily living karon. Merely, the art is for self-expression. So, with the rapid rise of technology and the popularity of social media, Filipinos find more platforms and ways to express themselves, thereby continuously changing the art scene. So, contemporary art is distinct because of how it blurs and lines across artistic disciplines and how it integrates various elements and principles. Okay. Did you know that this was only in recent Philippine history when the idea of exhibiting malls became popular? Kana mag-exhibit sa mga malls ba? In 1992, the pieces of Jovenal Sanso exhibited in SM Mega Mall in what is called the Art Work. Our art Work? Art Walk. Okay, the rise of his, uh, this phenomenon could be associated with the Filipinos' growing mall culture. Okay. 
Uh, this is your task for next week. Aside to answering the uh, creeper lessons, you have also uh, you will be given also a pila tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So one week. Egg. So, gather everyday objects from your homes. So, ato ni siyang utilize, ha? And, wala o na to ning bring them to class. So, mangita kag mga objects gikan sa inyong balay. Tapos, ayun ni in groups of five. Ikaw lang mismo. Create an art piece mainly uses the gathered objects. So, mag-create kag art piece. Depende na sa inyo hang i-create nga art piece. So, the artwork must depict, depict contemporary Filipino culture. Ang sama yung contemporary cu- Filipino culture. Katong what we are right now. Unsa na? Product of gikan sa pre-Spanish, Spanish colonization, American colonization, and uh, Japanese colonization. Na combine-combine na good siya. So, mauna na siyang contemporary Filipino culture. Okay, remember na to, to integrate various practices such as elements and principles of art as discussed in the previous lesson. Kato mga elements, line, texture, color, katogod mga ana. Tas once you are done in the piece, so pag baka buhat na mo, ayok ayo li sura good basta mo depict niya ang yang theme is contemporary Filipino culture. So all about Filipino all about nationalism, kanang being pagka-Pilipino. So, explain niyo na siya. Once you are done with the piece, have a show and tell your classmates and discuss what makes your piece distinctly of your generation and uniquely Filipino. So, on saon man siya, uh, pasabot ani, you will create, after niyo mo create og a piece or, or, or an art piece, you will uh, Make this that of class. Uh, you will discuss and make your piece distinctly of your generation and uniquely Filipino. Uh, for example, na homa na nimo siya, tapos uh, mag video ka within yourself. Dapat maximum lang yapon of one minute. Ha, one minute ha. Okay. Uh, pwede na 30 seconds to one minute. Uh, katong imo tong i-explain to imo hang kuan sa imo mag, mag video ka together with your face nga para makabalo kung ikaw jud ang nagbuhat ato uh, mag video ka while e, naga explain ka pag mahuman na sa ha ayo pag video atong while nagabuhat pa ka mag video ka pag atong uh, nahuman na ka tapos gunita nimo siya sa imo atubangan tapos ang pinakauna nimong iingon is dapat uh, ihatag lang nako siya dapat ang inyo hang piece is uh, mabuhay Philippines, this is my artwork and explain niyo siya nga nung uh, it represents ng, nga, it represents you as a Filipino nga nung yun ato yung artwork explain lang niyo siya so, so unsa ang mga makita nato dito nga mga elements and principles sa art so explain niyo siya dito ha so that's a summarization it's actually 100 points. So, makita na ko dito kung giyon sa nimo siya pag explain how you understand the elements and artworks of uh, uh, elements and principles of art. Then, uh, isubmit nimo sa GC karong Thursday. Oha? Okay. Uh, for now. Okay naman guro. So, wala na yung mga problema. So if you have questions, just tell me ahead of time para maklarify na to na siya. Then may isa na to siya answer. So, goodbye everyone. Have a good day.